when the news of this broke a few days ago, I started smiling and I haven't stopped since. Because this is what you call a real turn a rug and a real good kick to Disney's behind. And I think for one, they deserve it. So I'm going to waste any time to get into this so you could all get what's going on here, my thoughts on it. Um, once again, I want to say I will say a big thank you to Bounding Into Comics. They really compiled a list of everything here. So I'll go through and give you all the, the actual facts on what has happened. Gina Carano receives assistance from Elon Musk, files wrongful termination lawsuit against Disney and Lucasfilm over her The Mandalorian firing. This is what you had to say. Artists do not sign away our rights as American citizens when we enter into, a, into employment. So Gina Carano, with the assistance of Elon Musk, is suing Disney. When Elon Musk took over Twitter, which is now X, he stated that anybody who had been banned or who had any problems or anything from on the platform, reach out to him and he will be happy to lend legal assistance. Gina Carano reached out, turns out she qualified and they're going to do it. Why? Because I have talked a few times on this channel about what happened with Gina Carano and, and how it's just absolutely disgusting. But it's indicative of what is happening in the entertainment industry. Gina Carano was fired and blacklisted because she refused to go along with their craziness. That's really the only reason it happened at all. But they tried to make up all sort of stuff and it never works. Get into it. Gina Carano has officially announced that thanks to assistance provided by Elon Musk, she is now moving to sue both Disney and Lucasfilm over her abrupt and now infamous firing from The Mandalorian. And why did that happen? Well, because Disney's a bunch of idiots. The former Cara Dune actress first announced her, her intent to take The House of Mouse and its, uh, and its subsidiary studio to court, the full filing of which, okay, right, on February 6th by a lengthy post made to her official Twitter account. Now, there is a whole thread here and, um, you know, they do have it here. But I want to go through the individual ones, um, of what she said, so that I could actually break down everything that has been said in regards to it. This is what she started off saying. After my 20 years of building a career from scratch and during the regime of former Disney CEO Bob Chapek, Lucasfilm made this statement on Twitter, terminating me from The Mandalorian. Gene, this is what Lucasfilm, this is the statement um, that um, Lucasfilm made. Gina Carano is not currently employed by Lucasfilm and there are no plans for her to be in the future. Nevertheless, her social media posts denigrating people based on their cultural and religious identities are abhorrent and unacceptable. Right. So this is that, that that that's what they that's what they actually said in their in their post. This is what Gina Carano has to say. Nothing could be further from the truth. The truth is I was being hunted down for everything I posted to every post I like because I was not in line with the acceptable narrative of the time. My words were consistently twisted to demonize and dehumanize me. As an alt right wing extremist, it was a bullying smear campaign aimed at silencing, destroying, and making an example out of me. And that's true. If you ask people what exactly Gina Carano has done, they can't actually say anything. If they point to some post, you can tell it's nothing, it's nothing. It, when the, all the woman was doing was just talking, her, her, her mind stating, stating her opinion, that's it. But no, you cannot do that when it comes to Hollywood. You have to, you have to fall in line with whatever crazy narrative they have. And she refused to do that. So they decided to blacklist her and then lie their asses off to try and discredit the woman. That's what happens. I'm going to prepare so that this and get to what she said here. Right, so she starts off. Look with your own eyes at what I posted. And ask yourself, for example... Where did I compare Republicans to the Jewish people in the Holocaust? Corano as a Republic. I didn't. Ask yourself, why 
why they were calling me a racist was there any merit behind that or history of it whatsoever no now this is this is what gina carano posted up here i'm gonna read it jews were beaten in the streets not by nazi soldiers but by their neighbors even by children because history is edited most people today don't realize that to get to the point where nazi soldiers could easily round up thousands of jews the government first made their own neighbors hate them simply for being Jews. How is that any different from hating someone for their political views? Now what she's saying here about what the Nazis did with Jews, this is actual historically correct. This is historically correct. Now, because Hitler actually had a minister whose job was to spread, was to spread propaganda and lies. That's what happened. They made people hate Jews. So their own neighbors were attacking them in the streets, beating them, turning them into the, 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 the Nazis, everything. That is what they did. This is not something she's making up. And what she says here is that, how is that any different from hating someone for their political views? And that's absolutely true. It has reached to the point where if you, if you say to yourself, you know what? I'm a Republican. They hate you to death. Why? That, that's just somebody's political views. And that is one of, that's one of the least interesting things about them. How somebody chooses to vote every four years should not really determine their entire existence. But this is how they operate. And you get people like, you get people like, like, um, like, a, like um, Adam Sessler saying how, you know, if any of his family members vote Republican, he would sit there sipping bubbly while they're getting killed. Kind of crazy behavior is that, but no, that's perfectly fine for him to actually come out and say he's wishing his family members get minecrafted. But Gina Crown was just stating historical facts here. No, that's her being a racist. This is how these people's minds operate. That's what happens. That's what happens. Then she goes on. Look at why I was called a transphobe. For making droid noises from Star Wars. Um, Beep Bop Boop was obviously directed to the online bullies and did not in any way denigrate transgender people. This was this was Gina Carano's post. They're mad because I won't put pronouns in my bio to show my support for trans lives. After months of harassing me in every way, I decided to put three very controversial words in my bio. Beep Bop Boop. I'm not against trans lives at all. They need to find less abusive representation. Okay. I'm telling you right up here. I'm not putting any pronouns in my Bible. Because that, that whole thing to me is just nonsense. That's what it is. Absolute nonsense. You don't give yourself pronouns. That is, that is not, how, that's not how, the, how the English language works. And this whole thing, you know, if you don't put pronouns, you're somehow not in support of trans lives. Do I believe that there are some people who have a mental condition and that makes them believe that you know they are transgender? Yes. Do I believe all of a sudden all these people out there stating that they are transgender are transgender? No. You're lying. You're lying to yourself. That's what you're doing. The majority, the, the vast majority of them are just lying to fit in because this is somehow the new norm. And Gina Carano is quite right. Why should she be forced to put something in her bio that she does not stand by? But this is, this is how they operate. They will bully you to death to do what they want. But the minute you say no, 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 you're the bad guy. You're against them. You're attacking them. You hate trans people. You hate this. You hate that. The only people spreading hate are the ones who keep, who keep literally bullying you online. To do so, when, when anybody, anybody, any actual common sense stands up and says, No, I'm not doing that, they attack you. Let's go on. There's more, there's more to cover. Raising one final question, Corano asserted Will my questions, uh, will my questions about masks, lockdowns, and forced vaccinations okay to ask and push the subject into the light? Should we have been allowed to publicly discuss those topics? at that time without being harassed or censored absolutely you're quite right if you have a problem with it you want to talk about the, the mask wearing and the lockdown and the forced vaccine that's perfectly fine it's called a free country a free world for a reason you are entitled to have an opinion 
if you don't want to when you figure something is happening like wrong, you could speak about it. Why must you be victimized for it? No. Then she would this is this is a post here. If they can arrest you for not wearing a mask and walking outside without permission, they can make up any reason to any reason to arrest you. How do these police officers live with implementing tyrannical rule over the people they have vowed to protect? They know it's wrong. Yeah. If you don't the, 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 the whole thing about it is that you have to you, you have to wear the mask or the police, they have to do it oh, okay, all of that fight. But she's quite right to say, you know what? If she figures that, you know, you're forcing people to wear these masks and they wear a lock up we're not doing it. You could lock up people for anything. That that is an opinion, that's an opinion that she has, that, that, that is her that is her that is her views. She's entitled to have that. Nothing in here is here. Well, nothing in here is trying is trying to stir up anything. No, no, she's not calling any any kind of rallying call to go to, to go and go and, go and attack police station or anything like that. No, she has an opinion and she is right to have it. That's all. Throwing a former employer's love for identity politics back in their own faces, Carano continued. Hollywood says they support female representation and equal rights. Why then were my male co-stars permitted to speak about her speak without harassment and re-education courses or termination? Uh, uh, and right, uh, 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 since further the Mandalorian uh, Pedro Pascal own post-election behavior online, but I was not afforded the same right to exercise my freedom of speech because they must control you. That's why. Artists do not sign away our rights as American citizens when we enter into employment. I have spoken to all my co-stars since and I was since, since I was fired, and there is nothing but care and kind words between us. I respect their right to free speech and I do not have to think the same on every issue to be their friend and work with them. I know they feel the same towards me. It's it's like somehow in the last five to ten years, common sense took a back seat. And now it's just raging narcissism. They're everywhere. We used to have arguments. Where we didn't even know. say arguments, discussions, heated discussions long time about who would win a fight between Spider Man and Batman or stuff like that. And you were still good and friendly with people after that was it. No, if you do not agree one hundred percent with everything somebody is saying, they behave like if, like if you're the devil. That's it. Like if you are literally. The devil. I, 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 it makes me wonder what in God is really happening to the people if that, that, that's the case. The actress then revealed that her lawsuit was being made possible thanks to legal assistance provided by none other than Tesla founder Elon Musk. This is what she said. A couple months ago, Elon Musk tweeted that if you had been fired from, from using the platform, well, X for this Twitter the time for exercising your right to free speech. He would like to offer these le these people legal representation. She recalled quite a noble offer, but never in my wildest dreams would I have thought anyone would take on my case against Lucasfilm slash Disney. Still, I didn't respond back. I think I qualify, and thousands of people agreed, but I did not expect anything. To my surprise, a few months ago, I received an email from a lawyer who had been hired by X to look into my story and many others. Turns out after sending them as much information as I could gather these past few months, my non-lawyers and X believe wholeheartedly in my case and are moving forward. I'd like to express my deepest gratitude and thank you to Elon Musk for giving me an opportunity to bring my case to light. And I honestly hope more people do it. Now, don't get me wrong, this is going to be an incredibly difficult case for her to win because Disney and Lucas and them have enough money to kind of drag this out. But Elon Musk is very wealthy as well. And I think that, that, that you know, if, we, if this goes well and, and she wins, that would be very well. And, and I hope more people come on board and actually, and actually go for it. Because this whole thing is so wrong. It, it's not even funny. Bringing her thoughts to a close with look this future, Karano ultimately mused, As for me, I would love to pick up where I left off and continue my journey of creating and participating in storytelling, which is my utmost passion and everything I worked so hard for. 
it has been difficult to move forward with the lies and labels stuck on me back then encouraged by the most powerful entertainment company in the world. Yeah, I'm grateful someone had come to my defense in such a powerful way and I look forward to clearing my name. Thank you to all the people who are supporting me and I made your voices heard. I pray God blesses each and every one of you. Right, yeah. Following the announcement of a lawsuit, uh, Musk himself would take to Twitter to invite any other uh, any others who felt they qualified to please um, to please let us know if you would like to join the lawsuit against Disney. Yeah, and, and I for one hope that it actually happens because Gina Carano has not just been blacklisted and abused by by Disney and and, and their online mob of, 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 of crazies. They go after her for everything. I mean, just recently, they were out there like, you know, this one year, mainstream media outlet Global News calls for Fan Expo Vancouver to ban Gina Carano and tries to incite cancel Pigma. This happens with whenever Gina, whenever Gina, Gina Carano is going to some kind of expo, some lunatic jumps on and I talk, I'm talking about, oh, oh, you know, getting this place to cancel her because, because her being there, creates a sort of kind of unsafe environment. This is the same kind of crazies like, like what, what happened with um with um JK Rowling. JK Rowling was heavy into this nonsense and then the military came out and said, you know what? Men are men, well, men are men, women are women, love whoever you want. That that was all it took. And it looked looked to tear her apart. And the backlash wasn't just with JK Rowling. I mean um, there's a woman who works for Reboverse right now. She got fired from her company simply by just putting on that, you know what, she's excited for the Hogwarts Legacy game to come out. That is it. This craziness needs to stop. And I hope to God that Gina Carano's lawsuit brings out so many more. And these people literally rip Disney apart. Because if you're telling me that this company that is supposed to be so about family and togetherness and all of this would sit there and actually participate in tearing a woman down, destroying her reputation and then doing so simply because she did not fit in some kind of woke mind virus that is infecting them. You all deserve the flicking burn. I mean, let me know your thoughts on this in the comments. You have a different opinion. I love to hear it. If you like the video, sure to hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Ring the notification bell. You'll be notified every time I upload a new video. I shall see you all next time. Take care.